Um, it's a poem that was set in a house where my wife and family and myself lived for quite a long time in uh, New Jersey, along the Delaware and Raritan Canal, a canal which, as many of you know, was dug uh, by Irish navvies, navigation on canal workers. Many of them, I, I suppose, I'm sure actually, uh, speaking Irish and uh, I remember often, as a bit fanciful, I know, I thought sometimes at night I could hear them um, crying out in, in Irish uh, from, from their graves. I mean, they, often, they were often buried. I don't want this to be a bummer for you, but <laughs> they were often buried. They were often buried where they fell. In any case, <clears throat> this house that we lived in was built in 1750, and like many a house built in that era, the walls were, uh, the plaster contained a huge amount of horse hair. So there were times indeed when you, it was almost as if one was inside a horse. So this, which is lovely, <laughs> it's not bad, um, at least. Uh, so this is a poem about a series of sensations through a hole in a wall, right? Um, I mean, it was set off by that extraordinary urge that so many have, uh, which I, I, don't, I don't quite understand, but it has to do with something called home improvements. <laughs> but in any case, um, so there's a series of sensations through a hole in the wall. But listen, here's the big question. You could say, yay or nay, are you up for a little audi quote unquote audience participation? Yeah. Or, I'm so pleased to hear that. You guys are great. And I, used to, I thought for a long time audience participation went out in about 1969. But in any case, uh, so here we have a, a little, um, a little um, what do we say, a refrain. And the model for the refrain is this. Let me just give it to you once and then we run through it. I said a model for it. Let's hear it. With a pink and a pink and a pinky pink is the model. Should we do it on three? One, two, three. With a pink, and a pink, and a pinky, pink, pinky, pink. So there's some very pinky, pink. So there's, yes, weird. So there's some version of that each time. We'll embark on this, and then we'll, we'll enjoy the rest of the evening. <laughs> the loaf. When I put my finger to the hole, they've cut for a dimmer switch in a wall of plaster stiffened with horse hair. It seems I've scratched a 200 year old itch with a pink and a pink and a pinky pink. When I put my ear to the hole, I'm suddenly aware of spades and shovels turning up the game all the way from Raritan to the Delaware with a clink and a clink and a clinky click. When I put my nose to the hole, I smell the floodplain off the canal after a hurricane and the spots of green grass where thousands of Irish have lain with a stink and a stink and a stinky stink. When I put my eye to the hole, I see one holding horse Dumb to the rain. In the hope, indeed, indeed, of washing out a few whole ears of grain with a wink and a wink and a winky wink. And when I do at last succeed in putting my mouth to the horsehair fringed niche. 
I could taste the small loaf of bread he baked with that whole seed, with a link and a link and a linky link. Thank you so much.